welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today I am going to show you how I decorated my outdoor flower boxes for fall. I took them from bright and summery to a neutral fall look. If you are curious to see how I put my two flower boxes together, then please continue to watch. So currently in our flower boxes I have geraniums and creeping jenny is what's hanging off the flower box. And normally what I would do is just pull the creeping jenny around and use that to fill in the box. But this year I think I'm just going to cut off the flowers of my geraniums and then that way I can still use the greenery bottom um, so I don't have to get as much artificial stems and all of that to fill in the box. So I'm as sad as it makes me, I'm going to cut off the flowers and then I will put in my pumpkins. So if you guys have flower boxes, that's a really good idea to change them up for fall is to keep some of the greenery that you had and then just remove any bright colors and then add in whatever you want. May it be pumpkins, pine cones, whatever. All right, so this is what all I got for my flower boxes. So I got these real pumpkins in orange and white. Um, I'm going to maybe touch up some of these whites with the white paint I have, white chalk paint, and then these orange ones I'm going to paint a greenish blue color. So I have this paint that I got from Walmart called Moss and this chalk paint and then I'm going to be using that on the orange pumpkins. I also have some leftover sage that I'm going to use up on these dollar pumpkins I found right here. I found these really cute fall stems at Walmart for only 90 cents so I picked up a few of those and then I also have a bundle of these real pumpkins that I'm going to also paint, I'm going to paint the orange ones the mossy green color. I also got these stems to add to the flower boxes and I love this greenery here so this will look really nice. I also just picked up a pumpkin cold brew that I'm going to be drinking while I do this but this is delicious so if you guys haven't tried it, you definitely need to try it, it's so good. so obsessed with this color scheme. I have the darker moss green, the sage green. I went ahead and painted some this white sheepskin and then I'm gonna leave these others cream. And I just think it looks so nice. It's gonna look really pretty with the greenery already in my flower box. And I think the stems that I'm gonna add is just gonna make it that much more beautiful. So I love that. And then as you can see over on my table here, that's the theme I have going too. So I like how it's gonna tie in really well to the outside. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just wanna say that I feel that our love is real. Yeah. 
so well with my wreath. So if you've seen my previous decorate with me video, I show you how I came up with this wreath. But this all ties in so well. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. so much for watching today's video I would love for you to hit that like button if you enjoyed it and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next video